In this video, I'm going to show you how to define the margin bottom using CSS to add more space between your elements whenever you need it, and we're getting started right now. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you code better so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. And if it's your first time here, hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more awesome tutorials for you. With that out of the way, Let's head over to the screen capture so I can show you how to define margin bottom on your elements. On the left-hand side, we have some simple HTML markup to create a simple page. On the right-hand side, this is what the page looks like in a browser. We have these three nice colorful boxes and there is no space between them. They are right up against each other. So if we wanted to add a margin to the bottom, to the red box, all we would do is go into the red box selector. If, you, if there isn't one, make one and type in margin dash bottom colon and then enter the pixel value or the percent value that you want that bottom margin to be. I'm going to just enter 30 pixels, refresh the page, and we see a 30 pixel gap between the red and the green box. We can do the same thing to the green box, add margin bottom, add in 10 pixels, and we see a slightly smaller gap. And that is how easy it is to add a margin to the bottom of an element. There is another way you can format this though. You can just use the margin property and type in margin, enter zero for the top value, zero for the right value, 50 pixels for the bottom value, and then zero for the left value. When we save this, we will see the gap between the red and the green increase by 20 pixels. And what we see here is that this is applying to the bottom of the element. So using this format for the declaration is the exact same as using this format. The one you end up choosing is a matter of preference because the number of characters for each one is about the same. So you're not going to really affect page load times by choosing one over the other. However, if you are using multiple, so if you do going to do a margin bottom, margin top and margin left, there's going to be a lot more characters there then it'd be better to stick to the margin property and fill in the four values or three values or however many values you need to get the result that you want. And that's how easy it is to define CSS margins on the bottom in your CSS code. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more awesome tutorials. And next up is clicking on one of these videos on the right hand side to learn some more stuff. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.